Hi guys, it's me Pete and welcome back to my channel. So today, we're not only making one recipe, but we're making two recipes in one video. So today, we're gonna be making Swedish meatballs and a Scandinavian smorgasbord. Woo -hoo -hoo! Two recipes at one, two recipes at one. Let's get on to the recipe. So the first step is for the Swedish meatballs. I have to tell you because we're doing new recipes. But first we, we're starting with the Swedish, sh, Swedish meatballs. And we have to preheat of the oven <coughs> to 450 degrees. De Degrees. <laughs> so, bake four, five, zero, zero. Start. So if you didn't get that right, you press bake four, five, zero, and then start. We're still working on the Swedish meatballs, and my mom helped me crack an egg since I'm bad at cracking eggs. I get shells in every single one. So I have some milk. Not for drinking, remember. Your mom can get you more milk than you can drink. Breadcrumbs. These are breadcrumbs. We never used breadcrumbs in our history in our history of baking. Ooh. We have salt. Yeah. We have onion powder. <laughs> and we have some allspice. And we also never use this in our baking history. Now we have to whisk it with the whisk. I feel like it's where I need to get the egg. Okay, the egg is crushed. I feel like it's gonna um be like a dough consistency. And then we're and I and then I think, think, we're gonna shape them into little balls and then cook them. The next step is we have to add ground beef and pork into the mixture that we just made. I'm a little grossed out to do it because um, these things are really slimy. So let's just dump them in. Now the gross thing. Just imagine that's your slime. It's like slimy. Uh, no, it's not slime. Do you want me to help you with this part? Yes. My mom helped me mix it all up because and now we have to shape it into balls. Dun, dun, dun. And guess what? They're so cute and tiny because they're only one inch small, like a little baby. Okay. My mom helped me dig one, so I'm just gonna. Now. And I just washed my hands. And now I have to wash them again. Wait, a little bit bigger. Huh. You did it. Playing with time. <laughs> Good job, girl. I'm proud of you. 
that's very tiny, but Good job. I'm going to help you with the rest to speed up the process, okay? Okay. So, um, my mom finished rolling all the meatballs. And now my mom is going to put them in the oven for 12 minutes. Now we're moving on to the smorgasbord. And guess what? There's only three recipes and three steps for each recipe. So the first one is Swedish preserves. And right now I'm going to teach you how to, what's it called again? Zest. Zest. Zest the lemon. Zest and lemon. So what you're going to do is see this handle? Hold on to the handle, okay? And then get your lemon and make sure it's on this side. And then you push the lemon against it and it's really sharp so it can like do that. And on the inside, there's going to be the peels. And speaking of the peels, you don't want to peel the inside, just the peel, okay? So watch me. Hold on. On top, slide. Hold on top, slide. So, um, you get a big pot, well, medium size, and you get your zest your peel of the lemon and pour it in the pot. Look, the yellow stain. <laughs> and now we have to add sugar. Frozen cranberries. Make sure they're frozen because they're already going to be cooked. They're gonna be cooked. So frozen cranberries and water. Warm or cold water, Mom. It doesn't matter. Okay. So warm or cold water. And my mom is gonna set the oven to boil. The Wait, stove. Stove to boil. So um we have to turn the heat down. Because it's what? Because now? the water is boiling. Excellent. What's and we have to she wait has, 14 oh, or 15 more a, minutes uh, for the berries mommy, to burst. Mommy. We have a lot going on here. Uh, the meatballs are done, the cranberries are starting to boil and burst. And now we're going to start the gravy. Three things. So, first, we just put the butter in a pan to melt it. So now that the butter is all melted, we are going to add the flour in and then mix it for three minutes until it gets golden brown. I forgot to say, but until it gets golden brown. Now that we mixed it for about three minutes, we decided to add beef broth and salt, and we're gonna mix it again. It's very heavy. Okay, dump the whole thing, babe. Are you supposed to do it slow? Good. Now we gotta add the salt. And 
And now we have to whisk it once again. It's starting to look like gravy. To finish off our gravy, we're gonna add some heavy cream. And we're gonna add some heavy cream. It really is heavy. <laughs> Get it? Heavy. And now we mix it. And now we use the tool of the mop to get our meatballs and put them in the gravy. So then we're moving on to the next part of the smorgasbord, which is pick pickled cucumbers. We got to use the grater again. Okay, so this time we're going to use this side. So the same thing. Get the right side of your pickle. Cucumber. <laughs> it's, it's funny because it's called pickled cucumber. <laughs> so you get the right side of your um, cucumber and you make sure it's straight and then push it. Ow. Did you hurt yourself? No. Oh, don't want to say ow. I don't know. Right, I'm going to help you with this, okay? Okay. Now it's time to pickle our cucumbers by adding the pickles into the cucumbers. The cucumbers into a medium sized bowl. What's that? And now we have to add sugar. And now we have to mix it. I can barely even mix it. There's so many cucumbers. It's okay. Let's just marinate for five minutes, okay? Okay. So this is our last part of the smorgasbord. We are doing dough potatoes. And we put potatoes in a pot and we have to boil them. And while it's boiling, we need to make the dill dipping sauce. This is the last step. Aren't you excited? Good. So, my mom added some sour cream because it was really stuck in the measuring cup. And now we have to add some salt and pepper and a little bit of dill, of course. To make the dill dipping sauce. Get it? Dill, and we're sprinkling dill. <laughs> and now we have to mix it to get the The four recipes are finally done. Now it's time for a taste test, and I brought somebody special. My dad. Hi. He's been on the YouTube channel several times. Mm. Several. Yeah, maybe twice. This might be the third. Well. That counts. That's several. Okay. Um. And look. That is 
the four recipes that we made in one video. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> are you ready to taste? I am. What do we, what do we taste first? Whatever you want, really. You know what I'm going to go for? Yes. Here. Should I just pop the whole thing in? If you want. That is amazing. My this mouth actually watering as I eat it. <laughs> These cranberries mm. are really good. Mm. Now, if you want, you can taste more. Oh, well, I'm going to. <laughs> Bye, guys. I hope you like this video. <laughs> Subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends and family. Bye.